we're excited to have you back, Coach, and thank you for welcoming us into your beautiful office. Well, I appreciate it. We're, we're excited to play in the game again. It was a blast. The kids got a lot out of it, and, uh, uh, of course, the cause is unbelievable and getting to know some of the soldiers uh, and their stories. And so we're excited about being involved again. Thank you, Coach. Well, it's good to have you back. Now let's talk about the team. Uh, you know, last year you lost 12 seniors, and uh, this year you got a, a, a great team coming back, uh, juniors that are moving up, sophomores that are moving up. Tell us a little bit about the team that you got coming back this year. Yeah, I, I think we've got uh, some size. Uh, you know, we've got some – we're probably bigger up front than we've been. Uh, and, of course, we got the quarterback Dawkins back, and uh, – uh, you know, we, we lost some talented receiver type guys and a linebacker, but, you know, we've got young kids to step up. And so I think we're going to be able to throw the ball. And uh, because we're bigger, I, I'm hoping we can run the ball a little bit better. You know, I, I think we have a great balance here of uh, academic and athletic success, and uh, our kids understand that. But uh, as a coach, you, you do have to make uh, arrangements for, uh, you know, sending kids to kids. Kids here go have go meet their tutors, uh, not because they're struggling, but because they have a high B and they want an A. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit more about your team. Well, you know, you start up front. That's where you, you win and lose football games. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, Reno Rossini, our 6'7", 320-pound tackle. Yeah, you know, if nothing else, he gets off the bus first. Uh, we try to scare him a little bit. Uh, and uh, so, we're, you know, we should be big up front. Uh, uh, you know, we got Tyrone Fanono, who's playing guard and defensive line. We, a lot of our kids play both ways. Uh, and Tyrone is, you know, 6'3", you know, 260. Uh, and we've, right now we've got about five kids that have Division One offers. I think we'll have about eight before the, the, the dust settles. And, uh, you know, Riggins is coming back at tailback. Holmes is back at receiver. Uh, you know, Cyphers is at corner. Morgan's back in the secondary. I mean, uh, you know, we had 75 Division One coaches here watching spring practice, and they're here because we got some guys to look at. Uh, but they know they have grades, and they're you know they're good citizens. So, you know, I, I think we got a good core group, and and uh, you know we we, we know we're going to get tested uh, by Upland. You know, tell tell us a little bit more about how you feel about being in this great game. Well, you know, certainly. Uh, uh, you know, I grew up in you know a little bit of military background. My father served, my brother served, and um, but for a lot of these kids, uh, it was a great opportunity for them to see uh, the kind of commitment and sacrifice our men and women make in the military, and uh, you know, hearing their stories and, and and seeing the effects and seeing how they're rebuilding their lives and and just watching their courage, it kind of puts football in perspective, and uh, uh, so I, I think it was a great uh, honor for us to be involved in and that's why this year when you when you ask us to play the Green Bay Packers we said sure we'll play in the game uh oh, I guess it's Upland but they're just as good so uh but it was a great thrill and honor and uh, uh great learning opportunity for our players well to be playing at the gates of Camp Pendleton yeah. I mean we're, we're this whole event is taking place at Oceanside High School at the gates of Camp Pendleton you know Marine US Armed Forces City uh, I know that we're really excited about what's going to be showcased there not only with your athletes and your teams coming down but the military presence that's going to be there so we're very excited about it coach I, I can't thank you enough for for the opportunity to get to know you these last two years you're a great man good good hearted man good man of God and uh, I, I just really appreciate the opportunity and, and thank you for letting us share a little bit of the story of Oaks Christian with uh, America. God bless you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it.